78 Colorado, Mimit 78, so we have what, Mimit 78, Proposition 119, Proposition 120 as a state, and then there's some local issues. So vote no. Colorado, you got to vote no on Amendment 78. You got to vote no in amendment. In amendment, this is a constitutional amendment. You need 55% to win. 55%. What kind of dumb, ridiculous shit is that? Well, you need a majority? Well, how about just slightly more than a majority? A super majority? No, nah, just 55%. So Amendment 78, I guess it's better because it's a constitutional change versus a proposition, which is just a uh, change in the code. So you have the conservatives almost got me with Amendment 78. They almost got me again. They almost got me again. But for me, Amendment 78 is no slice of pepperoni pizza. Colorado rise in action. This is the same group that put forward Proposition 120. They're the ones that are also putting forward Amendment 78. So far, my positions are Amendment 78, no. Proposition 119, yes. Proposition 120, yes. And yes, on the Costilla County Wildlife Habitat Area. And I'm going to give an opinion about Conejos County, even though I don't vote here. So Conejos County has a two-cent tax hike, is what I heard. And I'm not for sure what. Two cents? I think like three or four years ago, they rejected a, a you know, a penny or something, a, a, a eighth of a penny or some shit. I don't know. But, um... So Amendment 78, Amendment 78, no, no, we cannot vote for Amendment 78. The conservatives, what they're talking about, how they almost, you know, convinced me, is that they're talking about bolstering the power of the legislature. I love the three branches of government, the judicial, the executive, the legislature. We should add the cop branch in there, too, because they got a high degree of autonomy, if not the highest degree of autonomy. I also love the rule of law and initiative, referendum and recall, but I'm the only person I've ever met... Uh, or no, who likes any of these precious tools in a precious republic? The rule of law, initiative, referendum, recall, judicial, executive, legislative branch. So, Colorado Rise in Action has a great argument. Basically, Jared Polis was acting like a dictator when it came to a lot of funds, a lot of federal funds. And here's some of the funds that this, you know, Amendment 78 would apply to. You got emergency relief fund, like the CARES Act. The $1.67 billion, then other money from the federal government, health care, human services, transportation, education, legal settlements, transportation, funding, grants, gifts, donations, state revenue limit, interest revenue. So that's, uh, you know, a lot of the monies, a lot of the monies. Colorado has been functioning, has been, you know, I like how Colorado is run by the Democratic Party. I like that Colorado is a blue state. I like that Colorado has a ton of democracy. So I love the three branches of government. Colorado Rise in Action. I wish I could trust you. I wish I could believe you. That's all you want? You just want to stop tyranny? You just want to bolster the legislative branch to make them an equal branch to the executive branch? That's all you're trying to do, right? You're just trying to stop tyranny, trying to stop autocracy and dictatorship and other synonyms for monarchy. Nah, that's, I doubt that's all they want. I love the three branches of government. But uh, GFP already got me with Proposition 120, so I can't give them two in a row. I can't give them two in a row. The Denver Gazette, which hates the homeless, here's what they said about Amendment 78. They say yes. Big shocker there, right? Incredibly, when the federal government channels money to Colorado, a handful of statewide office holders decide how to spend it. The legislature isn't consulted to prevent spending sprees that lack accountability and transparency. Colorado voters wisely petitioned Amendment 78 onto the fall ballot. It would require the legislature to appropriate expenditures of such money provided to the state. It would include the kind of federal relief funding that deluged the state during the pandemic. It deluged the state. No more blank checks for the state's chief executive. Vote yes. No. Vote no on Amendment 78. Fuck Amendment 78. Amendment 78, fuck you. <laughs> Just listen to the goddamn question. Just listen to the fucking question, okay? And if, you know, you're telling me the average Joe is going to understand this question, shall there be an amendment to the Colorado Constitution and a change to the Colorado Revised Statutes concerning money that the state receives and in connection therewith requiring all money received by the state, including money provided to the state for a particular purpose known as 
custodial money to be subject to appropriation by the General Assembly after a public hearing, repealing the authority to disperse money from the state treasury by other means, requiring all custodial money to be deposited into the newly created custodial funds transparency funds, and the earnings on those deposits to be transferred to the general fund, and allowing the state to retain and spend all custodial money and earnings and revenue on that custodial money as a voter-approved revenue change. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, we should just go ahead and do that. That sounds really smart. What the fuck, they're sending their ass, they're adding a custodial funds transparency fund, who, you know, controls that shit. Eventually they say it goes to the general fund. Why would it go to the, you know, one fund and then another fund? Who gets, you know, the, some goddamn hedge fund manager probably gonna get a shit ton of money from all that shit. By the time the legislature gets their hands on the fucking money and the public hearings and shit, They'll log jam this thing. They'll stop it. They'll, you know, they'll throw a monkey wrench into the machine. People need the FEMA funds and the, you know, the CARES funds and the COVID funds and shit. So, fundamentally, I love the three branches of government. Fuck tyranny. Fuck fascism. The legislature is supposed to be the people's house, but I'm going to play some power politics here. I'm voting no, because I doubt the authenticity and the genuineness, you know, of, you know, somebody else, let alone a right-winger who cares about the legislative branch. Really? You care about the three branches? You know about Montesquieu? You know what Montesquieu said about the three branches of government? I don't believe you. No, I don't believe you. If you said yeah to that, I do not believe you. If this bill is put forth by the Democrats or a progressive group, I trust it. I trust it because, you know, the legislative branch is important of, of the three branches, especially the people's branch. Uh, my relationship with Donald Valdez should be closer and better than my relationship with Jared Polis. Unfortunately, that's not how it is. So, you know, they're, you know, the, GOP, the right wing Colorado Rising Action, they put forward, they say lower taxes, and they say three branches of government. I, I like this shit. How come, where are the goddamn different, where are the progressives? Where are the progressives at? Where in the goddamn, where are the goddamn progressives? So I'm voting, you know, I'm going to vote no. I'm voting no because the question is complicated and convoluted and goes on and on, and I don't really know what the fuck they're trying to... What are you saying? You want all the money from the feds and you want to disperse them, Republicans? I don't, I don't like that. That's not... Why would I want that? I think that Jared Polis is going to get reelected. I don't want to give the Republicans a tool to log jam the General Assembly to tie them up and to stop the monies from getting out to the people that need it. I want Jared Polis to be re-elected. Re I predict Jared Polis will be re-elected. And I want him to have more power than what he had before. And maybe we need an active progressive to challenge him in the primary to make sure that, you know, he stays humble and honest and true to the working class people of Colorado. So I want a progressive check on Jared Polis. I want a democratic check on Jared Polis. I want the conservative versus liberal debate to be held within the Democratic Party. I do not trust re Republicans, national Republicans, government Republicans. Conservatives are okay throughout history. Some people want to change things. Some people don't want to change things. Some people care about the community and, you know, fiscal responsibility or whatever, vice versa, whatever. So, It's okay to be a conservative, but Republicans, I just, I think I've been too fucking traumatized by you motherfuckers. So I want uh, the Democrats to hold on to Colorado. I want the Democrats to hold on to Colorado. I want Colorado to remain a blue state. I don't want to give Republicans a tool to log jam the General Assembly. So vote no on Amendment 78, because that's exactly what the Republicans will do. They'll stall the distribution of funds. And it's really rubber stamped, right? COVID funds goes for COVID shit. FEMA funds goes for FEMA shit, etc. But they'll stall the distribution of funds. They don't like government spending anyways. And then they'll give it to their cronies and their fucking buddies and shit for their dumb pet projects and what have you. So I don't like that. I want Jared Polis to be the governor again. I want him to win re-election. He's done a tremendous job just on the police reform front. You can sue cops now as individuals up to $25,000. Jared Polis hasn't got us universal health care yet in spite of what he promised me. Maybe in the second term he will. We shall see. He's only been in there for one term. He's raised the ball on what a governor can be. 
Jared Polis, you know, has done a good job. And so I am playing some power politics here because the fear is if this doesn't get passed and let's say the worst happens, some fucking Republican becomes the goddamn governor, then the legislature will have no authority, you know, or have uh, the same authority that they have under Jared Polis. So if we're not going to bolster the legislative branch to be, you know, part of the three branches of government, if a goddamn Republican gets to be a governor of Colorado, then they'll get to spend all that, you know, money however, the, however they see fit. That is, that is the risk. That is the danger. But uh, like I said, I predict that Jared Polis will win. It's a blue state. He's done a great job. And um, there's another point I was going to make. He's done a good job, uh, and, um, you know, we could do this uh, again if we really want the legislative branch. So my prediction is that he'll be reelected, and so in four years, maybe, you know, I'll have the same fear in four years. But uh, I guess ultimately that's how America works. That's how America works. We have a presidential election system. We have a presidential. It needs to have instant runoff voting. It would make it perfect. But I like the presidential election systems better than parliamentary election systems because it's winner take all. So if a Republican somehow, you know, beats Jared Polis, that motherfucker was dynamic and charismatic as fuck. And he would, you know, probably have been what Colorado had needed at the time. And so, yeah, that's, you know, that's the fear. That's the gamble. That's the gamble. And, um, and the legislator has their own powers. They can pass fucking laws and shit. So shit. If they don't like a thing, then they could just, you know, change the fucking law and make it better. So if the legislature really feels like their hands are tied and they have no goddamn power whatsoever, they should just reread the Colorado Constitution. There's a, there's a million laws out there, so you can probably... You could probably, you know... You could probably flex your muscle, legislative branch... But Jared Polis, we need some universal health care, motherfucker. And I would like to see some more equal distribution of these funds. One point fucking seven billion dollars. Where'd all this money go to? I didn't see any of that goddamn money. Jesus Christ. Vote no on Amendment 78, but Jared Polis, you need to...